Hi Pisces, welcome to your bonus read for the week. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind and what they're hiding from you. I'm going to pull three cards to start, clarify each card to give us some more insight. And at the end of your reading, I'm going to pull three messages plus one bonus message from this person. These are going to be things that you might want to hear, things you might not want to hear, and answers to questions you possibly have. We will get that at the end. This is general and it may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, already subscribed to my channel as it helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. Please remember that time is fluid. So this could be something that happened in your past, currently in your present or coming up in your future. Let's go ahead and jump right in. For Pisces, ooh, person on Pisces mind, show me what they're hiding from Pisces. Hold on to these cards. What are they hiding from Pisces? Wow, um, this person has a serious problem with commitment. Um, they fear commitment. Okay. So we have the Knight of wands, the wheel of fortune and the devil coming out. And I feel like this person's getting cold feet, even though things are going good and luck is on their side and it feels amazing. Look how they're running away from their blessings all out of fear. Okay. So the, we have the Knight of wands, the wheel of fortune, and then the devil, um, as well as the emperor at the bottom of the deck. This person is a very free spirit and you cannot control them. Um, they do not want to be controlled, but this this person is running away from what feels like their destiny, what feels like blessings and things going really good. And it's all out of fear, being very fearful. Like I can't commit. Uh, I just feel like this person gets cold feet whenever they start to really like someone or things are going really good for them. The other thing about this is, is they could have addictions of some kind that they, you don't know about Pisces and they just don't know how to tell you. So they're like, Pisces is too good for me. I got to go. Um, but I do get that this person is quick to run away from commitment because it's almost like they fear it in a sense of not being good enough or that's a boundary, like they draw a boundary with commitment at a certain point. Like they might stay for a couple of months and then be gone or a couple of years, but be gone. And um, Or they've been in and out of your life and you want them to settle down or you want them to make a bold change and move towards you, but they fear doing that because it, it makes them feel that they're not in control and that somebody else is controlling their life. And that might not necessarily be the case, you know, you just want a partner in a joint relationship and you want to be equal with each other, but they're feeling that means, oh my gosh, I'll never have a life of my own and there's going to be so much control and this and that and the other. Um, let's go ahead and clarify that Knight of Wands. Okay, so we have the Queen of Pentacles and then we have the Magician at the bottom of the deck. So, you know... There's a lot of really good things in this. This is a very powerful connection that you two have, and that's where they're getting cold feet. Um, there's something about them running away because everything that they've built in their life, they've built self-made. Everything they touch turns to gold. Their business is theirs as far as like the garden that they've established for themselves, the blessings they have. And so they feel, you know, with that magician, they've learned and mastered particular skills in their life, which has brought them to a lot of success. And they it's almost like they don't want to share it or they're afraid to share it with other people or someone else, maybe out of fear that um, somebody would take that from them. So there is that as well, Pisces. Um, and this powerful connection, you know, with these blessings, you're what they manifested, you're everything they could want. I feel that it scares them as well. But there's something about, you know, I can't commit, I got to go, I got to run away from this because you know, I've done this and that and the other all on my own. And I'm just going to focus on that. And I don't want to share it. Um, even though they would be great in a relationship, they really don't see that. And there's something also about their mother or their father or like whoever their parent was, if even if it was like a sibling that raised them, whoever raised them ran from commitments. And that 
is something they're used to running from, you know, things that are good in their life. So let's go ahead and clarify that wheel of fortune. Now we have the justice card and then the star at the bottom of the deck right here. Things are very balanced. Things are really good, harmonious. I mean, the star coming out, there's hope, you know, everything. You're exactly what they wished for. You're exactly the balance that they need. You're everything. And I am picking up on some addictions, temptations to things that are not good in their life. And they feel like they can't tell you you're too good for them. And so they run from that. Um, and they have so much to offer, so much to give as well in a relationship, but it's almost like they short themselves from their upbringing or, you know, their belief system of, I can't have this because, you know, it's too good to be true or something of that nature running from that, like getting cold feet last minute. Um, and you know, the star, you are a wish fulfillment of theirs. This is what was given to them. Things finally feel balanced, but that devil is telling me that they have a lot of fear and there's a lot of binds to things that are not good for them. Let's go ahead and clarify that devil. We have the queen of swords that comes out as well as the seven of cups at the bottom of the deck. So the fear, okay, for some of you, this is a person in their life that can make things very difficult and they have a toxic relationship with someone either they have children with or someone close in their life and that person ruins relationships for them and that could be their parent as well or whoever raised them and so um, they've had lots of options but every time that they bring someone around their this parent or whatever or this person that's in their life which looks permanent because it's a a commitment to someone who can be very mean at times um that person's very judgy at who they're going to be with and they judge everyone that they're going to be with and it just, it really ruins things. There's also the fear that um, they work too much. It's almost like they're committed to their job and um, like they work so much that you might want other options, like you want to explore other options, whether that's a trust thing, everything's going well, but they're running from this. And, you know, the even feel like addictions that they could have. Um, there's so many choices. They try and say no to it, but it keeps coming up and coming back for them. And it's hard for them to just break from that. And they do, they really do have a lot to give. Also, this person is very self-made and they're a single parent. For some of you, this is someone who's a single parent as well. And so they just don't trust people with their children. And, you know, I understand rightfully so, you know, it's hard to trust people, but, um, you know, taking time to get to know someone. I know even some people are like, well, I knew this person for 10 years, but guess what? <laughs> they showed a different side to me one day. I understand it can be, it can be scary at times, but um, we can't fear everything in life. Right. And, but they're being protective if that's the case and they have children, they uh, call people out on their BS or they see through the BS. And I'm not saying that's what they see with you. I do get that they fear uh, they have fears, legitimate fears, and they are being rational about it in their own thinking um, that, you know, there's so many different things that could happen or go wrong or whatever. Um, but like I said, Pisces, it's not only that, you know, even if they're not a single parent, it's like they're really busy. And what if you want to explore other options? And I just can't do that. What if I can't give Pisces what they're looking for as far as time? So let's go ahead and get some messages from this person on your mind. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, they've never felt this before. This scared them, Pisces. Um, some of you, it hasn't happened just yet, but you don't know how hard it was to let you go. And it might not seem that way, but because of this person's fear of things going wrong or not being able to offer something that, you know, like in their own way of thinking, you know, not being able to offer you the love you're looking for, 
on a deeper level? What if I can't give Pisces that? What if I'm not deserving of it? Or it's just things are really balanced, but they run. And you came closer than anyone. See, this person's really into you and it frightened them. It really put some fear into them and they didn't show it that way um, or they're not showing it that way. But when it comes down to it, look, I love you. That is something that they don't tell everyone and they do. They do love you, but they are scared to get hurt and they try and protect themselves by keeping themselves very busy, telling them, rationalizing and saying to themselves in a sense of, you know, no, I've, I've made this life that I have. I don't want anyone to take it away and giving themselves excuses and reasons to run, um, when things are really good for them. So I look for you everywhere. And that is something they will do after the fact, um, hoping that they run into you, but they plan to leave before you do. So I left you before you could leave me. And it's all out of the fact that they got cold feet or they get cold feet and they feel this sense of fear that if I'm too busy, you know, or I come off, they can be, here's the thing, Pisces, this person can be quite the nurturer. when it comes to relationships, they are wonderful about it, but they also have another side of them that they feel when they show this queen of sword side of them, which can be sharp or they have, I don't want to say necessarily a temper, but you know, they can go back and forth. Uh, they're too busy, things like that. They're like, I don't need anybody very independent in that way that that can affect relationships. So they have two sides of them where they're very grounded sometimes. And sometimes they just are like, I'm going to speak my mind. Um, and that part of it can cause the toxicity in relationships for them. And that's what they fear. They don't want things to go wrong or you to see this other side of them as well. Uh, but they do love you looking for you everywhere. You came closer than anyone to making them commit permanently. Um, and they feel like it was so hard to let you go. And some of you, this has already happened and some of you it hasn't happened just yet, but you've been going through a difficult time with your person and wanting some answers. So I really hope that they can talk to you about this, but I do want to let you know, if you bring it up to them, I know that you're scared to commit because you feel that Either I'm too good for you or that you aren't deserving of this kind of love and these kind of wonderful things in your life, but you are. Watch their expression on their face because they're going to look at you like, how did you know that? And so psychic, you know, and you've already intuitively been picking up on those things. You just want the answers from them. So when you have this conversation with them, mentioning these things, you're going to see the look on their face and just reassurance. Maybe this can change the energy of them not running away. But if they already have, um, they have to learn that if they want you back or they want to give you, you know, they have to come back with an explanation and show up right and, you know, and not run again. But, you know, you're not going to wait forever on someone who is going to, you know, flee on you the moment that they feel things are getting too good. So this is what I have for you. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.